Hey everybody, Frankie here. In this video, we're going to learn how to use the stamp tool and a tiny bit of music theory to create some inspiration. Sometimes we just need a little push to get that, uh, get those creative juices flowing. So uh, let's see what we can do. Let's get into it right now. So I've got a uh, pretty much an empty, uh, empty project open here in FL Studio. Uh, gonna open up the channel rack. I've loaded FL keys. If you don't have that, uh, you can just go here and click plus and you'll find it in the list. You can just kind of scroll down and up and down and up and down and up and down. No, you can just go right to it if you want. It's under miscellaneous right here, FL keys, click on that. It'll show up in the rack. Let's jump right over to the piano roll. Now, if you know about making chords and how to make chords and how to uh, put them together in a way that's musically appealing, uh, good on you, that's fantastic. But a lot of folks don't. And there's a little tool called the Stamp Tool built into FL Studio. Uh, you'll find that right here. And it gives us the ability to go through and add chords uh, based on the type, like major, major seventh, minor. Uh, and it gets into some more complicated ones as well. Uh, but, but before we do that, we're gonna look at a little bit of music theory. Now, I've prepared a little notepad here uh, hopefully you can see that okay. Um, these are the chords that are available in a C major scale. And uh, technically it's a little bit more involved in that. There's a few others, but for the purpose of this, we're gonna use the first, the first six. We're gonna get rid of this B diminished, and we're gonna look at these chords here. And if you're wanting inspiration to kind of get started writing a song, you can actually just take these chords and pick some of them and string them together and see how it sounds. It gives you kind of a starting point. So uh, I actually created a, a spreadsheet, a Google sheet uh, that would randomize these uh, and generate patterns and then I would go through and build them. So uh, in this little list over here, uh, we don't have to know much, but the capital Roman numeral means major and the lowercase means minor. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's got a major one, minor two, minor three, major four, major five, minor six. So let's just say that we want to uh, create a pattern of four chords to start a song off, uh, just to create a little inspiration. Uh, so we might pick E minor, F, A minor, and G from this list right here. Now, it's nice to start off in the C scale because it's easy, and then we can move these around if we want to move, put something in a different key later. So let's start with this. I'm going to move this off screen, but we're going to do E minor, F, A minor, and G. So with the stamp tool, this is what's really nice about it. We can find a range in the keyboard that we kind of like. So that's a good place to start. So go here to the stamp tool, and we're going to go down here and select minor. Okay, that's a left click on that. And then we're going to find the E, and we're just going to push that there. And that's going to build you a perfect E minor chord. So if we play that, that's perfect. And so the chords that we chose were E minor, F major. We're going to go here and select the major tool. I'm going to pick F. And then A minor. So I'm going to go back to the stamp tool, select minor again, go to the A minor. Let's move that dude over. And then let's go select the G major. So we'll pick major and we'll go to G. Now let's listen to that. That sounds pretty good. So we're using, uh, we're using just the cheap built-in piano sound, but that's okay. Now, one of the things you can start doing as soon as you hear this, and one of the things I like to do, uh, I like to have a little less mo movement on my piano pieces. So um, you can use the select tool here, right here, or you can click E on your keyboard and that'll, that'll bring that tool up. Highlight that and then control uh, and then the down arrow will move that to the octave lower. So as long as you move an A to another A, a C to another C, an E to another E, within this chord, it's gonna be the same chord, it's just gonna invert the root note. So let's listen to this. Already sounded better. I think I would take this D down too. 
Let's listen to this. So now you have the basis for writing a melody over. So you can start with these chords and then you can kind of get creative. And um, what I like to do is just kind of pick it and I'll, I'll I'll riff on the keyboard over these chords and find a melody or I'll, uh, or I'll go in and program it if I don't have a keyboard available. You can do that. But if you don't want to be in the key of C, we're in C major now, right? You can actually just start, you can actually select everything on this screen. And since we're in C major, uh, I'm going to use control A to select all the chords that are uh, currently on the screen. I've still got my select tool, but I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click P to select pencil. Uh, and this is going to allow us to move these. So let's say I wanted to be uh, in the key of, let's say, D. I'm in the key of C, and since D is two semitones up, that's a whole step up, I just need to drag this a whole step up right there. And now this is in the key of D major instead of C major. And if we want to get something kind of unique, we can drag it around really anywhere on the keyboard. You can put it into any key you want. So you can use C major as kind of a stepping off point to get creative and uh, move this any which way you want and kind of uh, just create all kinds of music. So that's uh, that's really, uh, really kind of a great way to get in and get started and, um, and just get some inspiration. Uh, and once you do that, you can change this instrument and make it anything you want. So uh, let's pop over to Channel Rack and see if we can find a more interesting sound. So let's go here. And I'm going to right click on this and replace. And uh, I've got Flex in here and I really like some of the sounds that are in there. So I'm going to go there. Open this dude up. Uh, the pianos inside of Flex are pretty good. Uh, so we could pick Steinway or any of those and just play. And you can kind of play with the settings in here. Or go through and pick any sound in your library. Um, you can go find a pad or whatever makes sense to you. Uh, but in any case, I hope this was helpful. Uh, once you uh, once you get started with this, it gives you kind of a just kind of a place to to go write a song. So we, we did. Uh, I know we did this uh, uh, E minor F A minor G. Let's just pick another random set of chords just for fun. Let's do uh, D minor F C and G. Okay. D minor, F, C, and G. So I'm just gonna click delete on my keyboard and wipe these out. I'm gonna try to do that again. I'm so good at this, apparently. There we go. Um, and so we're gonna do D minor, F, C, and G. So let's pick our stamp tool. We're gonna start with minor, go to D. Pick our stamp tool and go to F major. Pick our stamp tool and go to C major. And then pick our stamp tool and go to G major. So I'm already hearing some melodies over that. I'm going to take the select tool and drag that down. I'm going to control that down. And I'm going to take the C and move it up. And I'm just creating a little less movement inside this progression. So to me, that already sounds better. And I love descending patterns or ascending patterns. So you can kind of play with this or you can get really crazy. And once you do this and you know your root notes, uh, so in this case, we have D, F, C, and G. You can either go find a, another instrument and just add a bass line or whatever makes sense. Uh, but you can also come down here on the piano, uh, just use your pencil tool and start drawing in some different notes. So, so there's a real low note there. We got a D, F, C, 
and G. And so we're just adding that, it's just additive to this chords we already created. And you can get creative and add little little trills or whatever. Just just get in here and play until you're inspired. So we might do something like, and if we don't like how that sounds, we'll change it. And you can also change the timing on these when they come in. So let's say we want to just do something like this and see how it sounds. We might like it. We might hate it. Maybe we wanted to send this. And then you can start playing with other notes and just build something creative. Just come in and uh, add things that are going to sound good to you. And uh, as you do this more, you'll kind of learn what notes go with the chords. But if you get lost, look at these original chords you created with the stamp tool as a reference. Uh, and then you can play with other notes that are outside of that and see how they sound. Uh, but that's a great place to start. So I might just want to add some pulses in here like this and then Maybe a B here. Let's see how that sounds. That sounds pretty good to me. Anyway, that's a start. I hope this really helped you and um, feel free to use this chord progression. It's, of course, you know, chord progressions, we're, it's all been done before. You ask the bare naked ladies, it's all been done before. Um, but anyway, I hope this helped you. And uh, if it did, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel. We're going to be releasing a new video every single day with tips and tricks. Uh, it's going to be inspired. I'm not really following a curriculum. I'm just going to do what feels right for that day. Uh, and I'm working in the industry. So as I go through these things, I'm just going to be sharing what I'm learning with you. And uh, anyway, click that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Going to be uploading a new video every single day. Uh, thank you so much and uh, hope to catch you in the next video.